Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Gluten Free Learning! And this is again the beginner series of videos that I'm doing for you guys for S Frame Software Analysis. And this is tutorial number five where we are going to be building a frame system and analyzing with different types of uniformly distributed loadings. So if you look here really quick, this is going to be the system that we're building. And I know this is probably the most complicated thing that we've built so far if you're kind of following my videos in order. Um, but I'll show you using different tools how this can be actually super easy to build. Um, and this is kind of the first segue into, you know, getting ready to start building your your true 3D, 3D you know, frame structure or something, right? Because you can just set a, a tool like this or use tools like the clone tool, build this model and then just kind of just clone it down however many meters your you know your bays are going to be long or whatever right so so now if you notice really quick that my units on this example are in millimeters so in your s-frame software we just want to change that now to um to millimeters because right now we are in our length units are in meters so let's change it to millimeters just to keep everything nice and consistent so click okay i changed the wrong one so i put that back to meters we want to go to our nodes we're changing our nodes, right? So that's in meters, sorry. We wanna put the node to millimeters. Now when you notice right now that our units are now in millimeters, perfect. All right, so now we've got our four nodes laid out at the origin, at 5,000 millimeters, at 8,000 millimeters, and at 13,000 millimeters, right? Because we have 5,000 plus 3,000 plus 5,000. Very good. So now if we look back at our structure, we've got the same setup for the sixth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth node. So now we're going to learn how to use the clone tool and just literally copy this whole row and just put it up top to 4,000 millimeters higher. 